know that everyone in the room shares the same common goal, which is that uh, this city is be a city where any child, regardless of zip code or circumstances, has the access to high education. Uh, we have to recognize uh, that uh, there are limited funds available to gov the government at any given time, and obviously um, uh, Mr. Rievelin and myself and Mr. Heinode have to uh, do the budget to looking at the entire city and all different departments. Um, even as the economy has recovered, our revenue growth has remained moderate. Um, and as those who just sat through the juvenile court hearing know, we have asked each department to present 3% cuts, and many of those cuts will actually be enacted. This will be a very tight budget. Uh, so our budget aligns with the strategic priorities uh, in the strategic plan. Uh, it's also reflective of federal budget uh, pressures this year. Uh, Mr. Pinkston referred to Race to the Top. I'll be a little bit more specific with that. Uh, this year, our expenditures in Race to the Top funding uh, were, were uh, 5.6 million. Uh, we uh, anticipate having 1.6 million available next year in Race to the Top funding. So that's a reduction in expenditures of $4 million uh, at the outset. Number of cuts because of the loss of race to the top funding, and we've made some transfers into the operating budget for a number of those high yield strategies that, that we think are uh, important to continue. First is pre-K expansion. Uh, the expansion portion of that budget is uh, $3.4 in operating budget. You'll see in the budget book a total cost of $4.8 million to operate those three model pre-K centers. That's Page 5 just shows the tail for account number 2600, which is our alternative learning centers. No, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a good hearing, and I thought the presentations were fine. Um, you know, one of the things that we have to do, obviously, is we're looking at all departments, the entire government, and it all has to work together. And there are limited funds, and we'll just do the best we can. And I think any budget for a department should, um, in the ultimate analysis when they enact their budget, needs to reflect what they think is important, what they can do, uh, and very thoughtfully go through each program and, 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 and emphasize those programs and, and support them. And um, that's what I'll do as in my job of funding each department. But it's going to be a tight budget, and um, you know we're not going to make everybody happy. But the budget process never does.